Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Metropolis Radio's Firefly Retrospective. Today, we are going to look at the episode Janestown. Now, this episode was written by Ben Edlund, and this is Ben, this is ben Edlund's first writing credit on Firefly. Other shows that he's written on are Angel, The Venture Brothers, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Supernatural. He also created the, he also created the Tick animated series from the early 90s. The Tick live action series with Patrick Warburton that only lasted nine episodes. And he's the creator of Amazon's The Tick. Now, that would make sense because Ben Edlund is most famous for creating the Tick comic book series. And this episode was directed by Marita Grabiak. Now, as far as Firefly is concerned, this is the only episode that she's directed. Her other directing cl- credits include shows like Angel, Smallville, Battlestar Galactica, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And this was also the fourth episode. This was also the fourth episode to air on the Fox Network during the show's initial run. Now, this is another standalone episode, and it's a Jane episode this time, hence the name. It also deals with religion, just like the episode Safe dealt with. But this episode deals with a different part of the conversation surrounding religion. Safe dealt with more of the religious zealots in terms of the witch trials slash the devils lurking around every corner trying to tempt you to lose your faith crowd. This episode, Janestown, deals more of the mythology surrounding religion. In this episode, the Serenity crew goes to Canon to Canton, a, a world that Jane has been to and doesn't want to be seen because, in his words, he's probably made a few enemies there. Now, it's never explained what the Serenity crew has to offload for this job, but the job is not important to the episode at all. Later on, it's revealed that Jane is a folk hero to the townspeople because he dropped money from the sky. Now, there's your mythological tale. The hero who came by and stole from the rich to give to the poor. Now, there are details missing from this that Jane and later his old partner go into, like that Jane didn't drop the money willingly or that he threw his buddy out of the plane so he took the fall for the crime. But, as we all know in terms of religion, none of that matters. When it's revealed that Jane was basically a fraud, so to speak, uh, he then goes on a tirade and tears down the statue in the town square. But, as I just said, we all know that that doesn't matter. Because it's not about Jane or what his intentions really were anymore, or who he screwed over. It's all about that tale. It's about the story. If people need something to believe in, a hero who stole from the rich and gave to the poor is better than nothing, even if it's revealed to not be the whole truth. That revelation will be forgotten with enough time, but that tall tale is going to stand. Now, the B story in this episode actually ties into the main overall theme of religion in this episode when River is trying to quote-unquote fix the Bible and all of the logical fallacies. Shepard then explains that you can't just fix the Bible, you can't just fix faith, faith fixes you. Now, this episode having that underlying theme of religion and specifically the mythology that makes up religion helps this episode stand apart from the rest of the series and it makes for a good one-off episode. I can show someone this episode who's never seen Firefly and they'll probably enjoy it if they pick up on the underlying themes for just this episode and not the series as a whole. If any Christians out there try to tell you that this episode is bashing religion, just it's not. Tell them to go fuck off. Uh, And that's going to really do it for this episode of our Firefly Retrospective. Come back next time when we look at the next episode, Out of Gas.